so uh, how uh, how many politicians in the, in the Kerala have a comprehensive vision of uh, development? So do you think that they are driven by some other concerns rather than addressing the real re uh, uh, ground reality? <laughs> Uh, actually, I don't like to enter into politics, but in Kerala, the essentials we are losing, real essentials. Where investments are necessary, where improvements are necessary, we are lacking. There is somehow a feeling, Kerala, the social indices are all very high. So it is a very advanced country. It is a very high advanced, advanced state, that is what these people go about saying. Why is it advanced? Is it because of the government? Not at all. Kerala is advanced so much only because of the money flowing into Kerala from people who, from Kerala going and working hard. They are sending back the money. 80,000 crores or rupees are being sent to Kerala every year by the people who go because there are no possibilities to work here, no employment here. They all go, go and work in Middle East. And many of them are under very difficult conditions work there. 12, 15 people all crowded in a room, make, have their own poor cooking, they work and send, spend, spend the money, send the money back here to support the family. So a lot of money flows here and the money is being used for houses, cars, everything. It looks very nice. It is a glass house. According to me, Kerala has nothing to boast of. Otherwise, we don't have enough food. We don't have enough energy. Food, every food item we are importing. Do you know that? Including fish, we have got 600 kilometers of coastal line. Why are you importing fish? You go to Sirur fish, fish market. Fish must have come either for Tutukorin or from uh, Mangalore. We are importing fish. We are importing rice, pulses, oil, every item, except probably coconuts, we are importing. We are importing energy, uh, electricity. 80% of our electricity used are imported from other countries. We have not enough industries provide employment. Where is the employment? But during the last 20 years, not even one good industry has been started here. Not even one good industry has been started here. Education. So, such a low standard of education here. Everybody wants to go to Coimbatore, Bangalore, Delhi, other places for higher education. And those people go and succeed very well. So they think the Kerala is producing good uh, people for IAS and IPS and all. All those people are coming from other universities, though they are Kerala born. How can we say that Kerala is advanced with these things?